you hear rumors and gossip kind of stuff that, you know, with all the financial crisis and everything, that banks are just not loaning money. True? No, it's not true. With that said, in the last 10 years, I'll say, things got a little crazy. It got to a point at one point where if you were breathing and you had a credit score and you could say that you had some cash somewhere, <laughs> you could probably get approved, which was really frightening to those of us that have been in this business a long time. Things have really tightened up. If you've watched the news at all in the last few years, you can figure that out for yourself. But we're back to the old days of having a calculator and a notepad, and we do the real numbers again. Here's how much you make. We can use a certain percentage of that. That's going to cover all of your debts, and that's the bottom line. There, there's no gray area anymore. So people are still qualifying for mortgages and getting money, and it's working fine, but there are those folks that perhaps got into housing a few years back, and those are the ones that are struggling now that we didn't run all those numbers with. Maybe the people that should not have gotten into it. That's my theory. I'm not really in charge of all this, but that's my theory. Yeah. So we are lending money every day. People are getting mortgages, we're closing them, but it's tougher now to qualify. Not to mention all of the new guidelines that have come into place because of there has been a lot of mortgage fraud out there. So we've got to do everything now from going directly to the federal government to verify your social security number is really you. Really? And you get to pay for that, by the way. And even though I ask you to bring in your tax returns, we have to go to the IRS and get tax transcripts of your tax returns for the last few years to make sure that what you've shown me is what you filed. So all kinds of added documentation that we never had to do before. You know, I joke with people when they come in and get pre-approved and say to them, this was the easy part. I'm going to ask you for everything except for your blood type by the end. Just be prepared and give me whatever I need because an underwriter has a right to ask those questions. Their job, our job, is to make sure that you can stay in that home when we put you in it. I don't ever want to meet anyone in the grocery store and feel like I have to bow my head because I gave them a mortgage they shouldn't have gotten. But with that said, it's tougher, but we're still lending money, certainly.